We're here in Sharon, Vermont, and we're spending the afternoon with pianist Anamika McLean. In August of 2020, the house that Anamika shared with her husband, Jeremiah, and her son, Luke, burnt down. They lost two pianos, two accordions, and everything that they owned. It's really taught us to be even more in the moment, I think, and count your blessings like crazy. I mean, I used to do that, I think, already quite a bit, but it's like <laughs> even more intense. In February of this year, they moved into their rebuilt house. Yeah, and how grateful I am like, uh, yeah, to, to have music coming back again, like Jeremiah is now on the road again. People just were so hungry to hear music. <laughs> That's me. So <laughs> I had a picture of me like every year and a half and just walking to the piano like... <laughs> and then I would say, mom, this is schone music. Schone music in Dutch means clean music. It's beautiful and clean. There's something about pianos that I just really love. Yeah, yeah so basically I play 40 years. <laughs> Anamika and her husband, Jeremiah McLean, are both renowned musicians and educators. Together, they perform as a cassato duo. Like, he is really good at improvising on piano and accordion, and then we played, like, I think six hours, just non-stop. Piano and the accordion, I've just never heard of that. Is it rare? Uh, it's pretty rare. There's, I think, in Russia, another duo, there's no music written for the combination, so we have to arrange everything. It's rebuilt on the same location. A lot of people ask us, like, why did you rebuild on the same location? Well, um, we like the spot, but also how the insurance works. Before we left to Maine, I had this weird thing, like, oh, I should maybe take the passports with me. And I didn't. And getting my citizenship paper back took nine months. First thing, I want my identity back. You know, you, all the diplomas, of course, are gone. Um, but for me, being able to travel as soon as it was safe was like number one. This yeah. is what you had with you. Yep. yep. So this survived the fire. This survived. Yep. I had the concert August 2nd in Maine. That's why I still have my concert pants. <laughs> Uh, that was lucky, and that's also why Jeremiah had one accordion. I had August 2nd a concert, and August 3rd, um, you know, we were on the beach, it was a nice sunset, and we just go to bed, and then at 6 in the morning, uh, the phone rang. He was like sobbing on the couch that uh, T, his sister, had called that our house was gone. And then there were, of course, a lot of phone calls with police and fire people and trying to figure out what happened. We still don't know what happened. Um, so that's the weirdest thing. By then we got already so much support like from the Stafford community, Stafford Sharon, that they said, look, you know, you're coming home, what do you want? I said, well, one thing I would really like is a picnic table. Um, my birthday is August 9, and um, we came back to 8th, and... Um, My mother um, told me to buy cups in the pottery of Maine. So I bought a vase and bought flowers. And we had some birthday party outside to be there together with friends um, that, that we knew from the beginning that we were not alone. We had a suitcase and um, my Dutch bike was in the shop. So I was so glad I still have my bicycle, which means a ton to me. And Luke, um, he was seven at the time. He, he packed his own suitcase and, you know, random stuff and <laughs> like four PJs and like a weird toy. And, and I was like, okay. And, uh, and afterwards, I'm so glad that he did that because he had some things that meant a lot to him still in that, in that funny suitcase. And so what do you think of your mom's piano playing? Yeah. Yesterday, um, she played um, I'm Still Standing for Me at oh. my piano lesson. Luke has been really, really cool. <laughs> yeah, he is like, he was like, Mom, 
I was only seven. I didn't have so much stuff yet. <laughs> I would have a front carrier and practice piano. Then, it, then I would have a back carrier and a practice piano. And then it would be a crib and practice piano. And then it would be a train set under the piano. And then as soon as this piano was moved in, he grabbed a blanket and was like laying there on the floor while I was practicing, just feeling the vibration in the floor. And um, yeah, at that moment I was really, yes, it's, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. We had so much support from the McLean Fund via the United Church of Strafford and then via the Sweetland Farms who had like a donation box and then GoFundMe's from Margaret Roddy who helped us and then another uh, GoFundMe for pianos from my Dutch friends. There was like support from all over the world. Yeah, and then the Sharon Elementary School started a book drive for Luke because of course he was learning to read and almost every family gave a book to Luke. So after the fire, but what really broke my heart was that, that the piano was gone. But the day that I stood on the frame and saw the strings, uh, that, was, that was really traumatic. Yeah, my piano was uh, in 2020, 100 years old. It was from 1920, uh, in Ibach. My piano was uh, my buddy for forever. I bought it with a loan for my dad way back. <laughs> when I was in my 20s, and then I shipped it from the Netherlands with me. This is Jeremiah's piano frame and yours is underneath, and the yep. goal is yep. to make a sculpture, yep. or? Yeah. Like really spooky stuff. <laughs> it's a used new piano, um, and I just really love the low part. And then how, this, how it shines in the top. It's really nice, warm, lush uh, sound to it. This is your new music library. Yep. Yes. Before the fire, I started basically collecting music since I was seven years old. Jamie music, like sonatas for violin, cello, clarinet, flute. <laughs> One of the first things after the fire was like getting music back. Sort of makes you so aware of all your possessions because yep. they were all taken yep. and now you're rebuilding. Yep. So like every single one has a story. Yep. A student who gave this yep. to you? Yep. I bought this for Luke. The first night we slept here was uh, February 22nd because I liked the number 22222. So you've got some Dutch tulips in there. Yep. What makes the house a house if there is music in the house? So it was not a building anymore, but we could hear each other. Um, one thing that we did better with this house is the insulation of the music rooms. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I could always hear there my stamp above my head. <laughs> And I look forward to have like student recitals here again and open the doors and we could have never done it without the support from everybody. I think it's a home. Yeah. Anamika and Jeremiah McLean perform together as a Cassato duo. So you can be on the lookout for future shows. And we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Take care, everybody. And Luke has his own little boombox, so he has his four CDs that he really loves. And his favorite song was I'm Still Standing from the movie Sing. So that went on and on and on and on. So but this was already before the fire, his favorite song. But that I'm Still Standing song is like our family hymn at this point. <laughs>